Well, 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 <laughs> stocks finally take a well-deserved break. You know, like all good streaks, it had to come to an end at some point, and it took a week and a half, but the market finally stepped back in 2018, first red day. News that China would slow or stop purchases of U.S. treasuries was given most of the blame for the slight pullback, but it was really just time for the major indices to take a breather. Yet, even though it was a down day on paper, it really wasn't all that bad. So after coming under pressure early in the session, stocks regained ground over the course of trading day. The S&P 500 climbed well off its worst levels uh, of the day, but still closed in negative territory. By the close, the Dow Jones slipped 0.07%, the S&P 500 gave back 0.11%, and the Nasdaq was off 0.14%. Not really a disaster. Um, not only did the S&P and Nasdaq finish on positive ground each of the first six sessions this year, but they also made new highs on each day. The Dow also had an impressive run, having only slipped a bit earlier this week on Monday. Now, twice Wednesday, trade-related stories caused a flurry in financial markets, and strategists are increasingly concerned that Trump administration's trade policies could create new headwinds for a stock market that otherwise, you know, has many reasons to continue to rise, and we talked about it in some of our previous videos. Um, the first story was a Bloomberg News report quoting unnamed Chinese officials who said China may slow down purchasing U.S. debt because U.S. debt is no longer as attractive and also because of U.S. trade tensions. The S&P was able to purse some of uh, the losses uh, we can see here right now on the chart, but the index lost ground once again in mid-afternoon trading after the second story, um, which was Reuters, quoted unnamed Canadian government officials who said during um, the afternoon session that they are increasingly convinced the US will announce it will pull out of NAFTA. Stocks fell, the peso and Canadian dollar tumbled, and traders sold U.S. sectors that are sensitive to trade, such as autos. Just take a look together with me at General Motors, GM, in the afternoon session. What an amazing plunge. So the declines yesterday are no more than a reflection of investor awareness that the market has risen for four straight months without seeing any major pullback. And people got immune to the idea of political risk influencing the markets uh, in 2017 simply um, because it didn't. And, and so from that perspective, I just think people have overly discounted the inability of political risks to move stock prices. Um, so the biggest threat to the economy and market right now is somehow finding ourselves in a trade war because that is a war nobody wins. You have an administration that feels emboldened by their ability to pass tax reform. They feel like they can go on the defensive and when that happens, mistakes can be uh, made. One bright spot, though, was the airliners. Yesterday, airline stocks moved substantially higher. The airline index uh, climbed by 1.7%, and UAL, United Continental, led the charge there, led the sector higher after the airline reported increases in revenue passenger miles and available seat miles in December. So UAL, just to remind you, uh, it was one of the sto uh, one of our stocks uh, on the radar we mentioned um, yesterday's. All right, so let's see which stocks we are going to put today on our screens. First of all, looking ahead into Thursday, investors are going to react to economic reports on weekly jobless claims, um, which are going to release uh, at half past eight o'clock, well ahead of the opening bell. And at that hour, 
also the, we have the PPI, the producer price inflation, which is expected to go up by 0.2%. And now also DAL, Delta Airlines is going to post its earnings results ahead of the opening bell. So of course it's important to put and follow DAL today, but the real thing starts tomorrow when the earnings season kicks off. Yes, this is a festival for us, for traders, and we are going to talk a lot about it um, t tomorrow. Um, in the movers and shakers, after the closing bell yesterday, we saw shares of KBH, KB Home, jumped close to 4% in extended session, a session trading. Um, the home builder reported fourth quarter 2017 earnings and revenue that well beat analyst expectations. KBH on our screens today. Also, PRGS Progress Software stock, which gained close to 8% after the bell yesterday. The software company reported fourth quarter earnings and revenue that beat Wall Street expectations. Uh, also, the financial report demonstrated significant growth in earnings and revenues year over year. Have a great trading day, traders, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.